Hello and welcome to another episode in the Winter Warmers series. My name is Sim and in this episode I'm going to show you how to make my mum's mushroom stroganoff. Now mushroom stroganoff may seem a bit 70s but this is a delicious recipe and it definitely deserves to be brought back into our menus. I'm going to start off with some butter, probably about 25 grams, a nice knob of butter in a relatively hot pan. Just swirl it around a bit to melt it. And then to this we're going to add some onions. You'll hear them sizzling away. Just mix the onions in and keep it over a relatively low heat because you don't want them to burn. You'll probably need to leave them for about five to seven minutes. Now the onions are nicely softened, it's time to add the garlic in. I've just got a couple of cloves here that have been minced add those in, give them a quick stir, they take a lot less time than the onions to cook. So once you've finished stirring that around, it's time to add the mushrooms in. Now you can use a mix of mushrooms of your choice, from button mushrooms to wild mushrooms. They just give it a really lovely woody taste. And again, whiz those round the pan. For a full list of ingredients, just check the description box. Now you'll need to leave these to simmer down and soften up for about five minutes. The mushrooms are nice and soft now and almost starting to caramelise. They smell really earthy. And it's time to add in the rest of the ingredients. So you'll need probably about a teaspoon of tomato puree. On top of that, about a tablespoon of paprika. Or to give it a bit of a kick, but not too much. It's not supposed to be a spicy taste. It's just got to give it a bit more depth, a bit more flavour. And on top of that, just a bit of Dijon mustard. A teaspoon, again, is absolutely fine. And finally, some chicken stock, which goes in. You just need to stir it all together and leave it for about five minutes and let all the flavours infuse. Once all of the flavours have mixed together, it'll probably take about five minutes or so, you need to take the pan off the heat for a minute. And this is where you add in the sour cream. Now you can use sour cream or even creme fraiche if you prefer that. Probably about 150 mils, which is about half a tub of one of these. You also need juice of half a lemon in there as well. And that will just cut through the really woody smokiness of this. And some parsley too. Now while it's off the heat, just mix it in and you'll see the colour lightens up quite a lot with the sour cream. Once it's all mixed in, you can pop it over the heat again to keep it warm, but you don't want it to boil. Once it's back on the heat, you can add a splash of brandy. Now, this is not compulsory, but does add a lovely bit of extra flavour. Just a little bit in there will really warm it up a bit. Just stir it in, and then it can be kept over this heat. It can be kept warm until you're ready to serve it up. If you like this recipe and you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And do leave us some comments too, because we're always interested to see what you're doing with the recipes. We've just taken this off of the heat now, and it's ready to serve up. I've got some wild rice that I'm going to serve it with, just because I think it's a really nice flavour combination. So all you need to do is ladle it into a bowl on top of the rice. Add some extra fresh parsley, and maybe just a squeeze of lemon juice. That's it. That's my mushroom stroganoff. And I hope you enjoyed this reinvented classic, and hope to see you again soon.